Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Shirazi, a board certified dermatologist and founder of Aussie MD Skincare. I have a dermatology practice in La Jolla, California, and today I wanna to talk about dry, peely, cracked lips because I'm seeing so many patients come in this time of year complaining that they, whatever they do, they're putting all the stuff on their lips and Blistex and Carmax and you know everything, but they can't seem to help the irritation they're experiencing in this area. It's a common problem this time of year. So I thought I would talk about why you get dry lips, how to avoid it, and how to treat it. But before we get started, don't forget to rate, review, and subscribe, and share this with a friend who might also find this helpful. Okay, first of all, let's talk about why your lips get dry, because this is important. It's important to understand that the lip skin is very different than face skin. Lip skin is much thinner, so if the face skin is you know 16 layers thick, the, the lip skin is only about five to seven layers, and the lip skin doesn't really have an outer, what we call stratum corneum. It's really thin, the outer layer, which makes it more prone to getting you know, dry and irritated. The lips don't have sebaceous glands. These are glands that are found on the rest of your face that produce oil and keep the skin lubed up. And because they're thinner, they tend to absorb things more. And that could be a bad thing, because if you get you know, something irritating on your skin, you might not react, but if you get it on your lips, it's gonna absorb more, so therefore it's gonna become much more you know, toxic or irritated. So what are the causes of dry lips? Why do people even experience that? One is the dry weather. If there's not a lot of moisture in the air, because the lips don't have oil glands, they're just more prone to getting dry. The second cause is really irritation. Because that lip skin is thinner, it is going to be much more prone to you know environmental irritation and it comes into contact with a lot of things things that you eat things that may be you know in the air it can really get on that lip skin and absorb more than if it was on your face so they're prone to irritation and and number three they're they're much more likely to get damaged from the sun because they're thinner and you know they're sort of sitting up anatomically on our body and can get uv rays that end up damaging it and that can cause the skin there to peel and get built up because the skin cells from sun damage are not renewing through the layers like they should. And then lastly, a condition called angular colitis. And you may experience this if you wear braces or mouth guards at night where you get cracking and peeling on the corners of your mouth. And that is from the saliva gathering in the corners of the mouth and causing that skin to get cracked and red and actually become quite painful. It almost feels like a paper cut in that area. And that's called angular colitis. That's another reason where uh, you experience peeling lips. So let's talk about the do's and don'ts for lip care, either to prevent dry peeling lips or to treat it if you already have it. Number one, I know it's tempting, but do not lick your lips because that just makes it worse. It becomes this vicious cycle. You know, you feel the dryness, you lick it, you're like, oh, you know, it's, I'm putting you know, saliva on it, so I'm moisturizing it. Wrong, saliva can be very irritating and the lip skin is not designed to go from wet to dry, wet to dry all throughout the day. And so what that does is it breaks down your skin barrier in that area and once that gets compromised, then you get irritation, redness, and it just makes everything worse. So as tempting as it may be, instead of licking it, grab a lip balm like Vaseline is probably the safest thing to put on your lips and coat the lips to protect it. What that does is one, it prevents water loss from the lips. So it helps hydrate it because Vaseline is an occlusive and it prevents transepidermal uh, loss of water. Number two, it also helps protect that lip skin so it can self-repair. You can also use other products like Aquaphor or Vanna Cream's moisturizing ointment. You wanna look for an ointment because they're gonna be more occlusive and more protective. I would stay away from the fancy stuff. You know, don't try too hard with the chapsticks, the Blistex, the Carmaxes, the, 
you know, the beeswax from Burt's Bees, you stay away from that stuff because they have other ingredients that if you already have irritation, can really make that irritation worse and end up with, you know, allergic reaction or redness and itchy and so forth. So really try to keep it simple. Vaseline I find to be the best thing. And then make sure that you do wear a lip balm with SPF because a lot of times peeling dry skin, especially later in life when you've had an opportunity to accumulate a lot of sun damage throughout your life, that peeling skin is damaged skin from the sun, particularly happens on the lower lip, but that thin lip skin is much more prone to get damaged from the UV rays. So now a lot of products like CeraVe Healing Balm or Aquaphor have SPF built in. So throughout the day, I would suggest using one that is also gonna give you protection from the sun. Don't use lip scrubs. I know it sounds tempting because you've got dry lips and all you wanna do is take a sugar scrub and just scrub that dry skin away, but you may actually end up creating a deeper wound or peeling, you know, aggressively taking off that dry skin layer can compromise your skin barrier that can lead to infections and may cause, you know, cold sores to come up. So I would suggest staying away from lip scrubs. I mean, they can be helpful, but your skin or your lip has to be really, you know, intact. It can't be irritated or it can't be dry. And the lips are so thin, they honestly, they don't need a scrub. What are you gonna scrub? There's not a huge outer skin layer in the lip mucosa. So if you scrub it, you're gonna get pretty deep pretty quick. So I would stay away from that. Now, if you're experiencing redness, itchiness, you know, really a lot of inflammation, I suggest using Soothe HC, it's a medicated cream applying that first and then applying Vaseline on top. You can do that up to three times a day. If you do that for three days, it should transform the lip area. It's not one that you're gonna wanna do regularly because it is a medicated cream, but the combination of the two will do a nice job of calming down inflammation, redness, itchiness, you know, if you just can't seem to get your lip under control. Now the condition I mentioned earlier, which is angular colitis, that is a little bit different. It's usually from mouthpieces. What you can do is apply Desitin. I know it sounds funny because Desitin is a diaper rash cream and if you're in Europe, you don't have Desitin, pseudo cream works. So you can use that as a protective balm. It's, they're usually kind of thick pastes, pseudo cream or Desitin is, and it will prevent the saliva from actually collecting in that corner and prevent that reaction from happening. Do you apply that overnight and after a few days, you'll be amazed that reaction will go away. If it's still a problem, do the Soothe HC plus Vaseline trick I talked about earlier. That will help calm things down really quickly. All right guys, I hope that was helpful. Don't forget to rate, review, and subscribe and share this with a friend who might find this helpful. If you're on social media, I'm on Instagram at Skin by Dr. Ozzy and you can tune into my podcast weekly at More Than A Pretty Face. Until next time, thanks guys.